everybody welcome to the morning routine happy tuesday it is a new week we are cruising into september and it is still hot outside so hopefully gay hopefully you guys had a good weekend extended weekend three-day weekend very nice but uh, it was very hot here in the central valley of california so hopefully you guys are able to stay cool stay hydrated and hopefully we're going to start cooling off here in the next few days or so but it's still hot so just Make sure you're still balancing out the heat. In the meantime, let's get to some headlines. <laughs> that guy flew pretty good. Ah, uh, why some McDonald's locations only have one arch? Do we care? <laughs> Kinda. It's the original uh, arch for the building. The building had big arches, and so they made the sign have a big arch, so occasionally you'll find a McDonald's with only one arch. Very important stuff going on. All right, uh, moving right along. Someone made a pop punk version, pop punk music version of Metallica's Masters of Puppets. And it's, uh, well, yeah. Uh-huh, yeah. 
Sounds like that belongs in a Phineas and Ferb cartoon. Not bad. I mean, I get it. You know, it's not like they... The voice is a little off, but uh, anyway. Mark Ruffalo officially addresses the MCU retirement until they decide to pay him more for another movie. <laughs> I'm sure that's how that'll go. All right, this one's great. As we should suspect it, man's reaction, a man's reaction to trying McDonald's in France is everything we hoped for and more. <laughs> of course it was. How else could that go? All right, suggestion box. Suggestion box. What we have in the suggestion box for last week? Cooking. Yes. We could do some cooking on the show. It's a great suggestion because you guys just can't get enough of the Calamity Cooking uh, workshop. Uh, we got one here for going to a Nuts baseball game. Yeah, we used to go to the Nuts baseball games as a group once a year. We would do that or a couple times a year. Uh, been a little bit tough with uh, transportation lately and things, so um, maybe not this year. Definitely on our radar, though. Another one is... Uh, Doing a concerts for the holidays, having occasional people come in and sing and perform. We'll see how that goes. That's a good suggestion. Maybe we'll mix it up a little bit. Maybe we'll get Judas Priest to do something. Yeah, not Judas Priest, Judas Priest. <laughs> we'll see. Another one was uh, the staff uh, get involved. The art show. Yes, uh, we used to do the Night of Art. That's something that we probably won't necessarily do the same way in, that we have in the past, but a good suggestion to do uh, some kind of art uh, show or something like that. Uh, so good suggestion, not totally morning routine-esque, but um, another one is holiday jokes by Christina. Of course, we'll get some more holiday jokes in there. Those are coming. We gotta get to the holidays first, uh, which are right around the corner, by the way. Very excited about that. Great suggestions, everybody. The box is right over there. Little black box, there's a pad of paper there, a pen, just write down your suggestions for the morning routine, pop them in there, and we're good to go, all right? All right, moving right along here, we're gonna start something new uh, here on the morning routine. We're gonna start something new, we're gonna talk about advocacy and what advocacy is. Um, We'll have an advocacy topic for the month. We're going to learn about it in trainings. We're going to learn about it here. We're going to have some fun with it because it's super important to understand what advocacy is, where it comes from, why it's so important, and what's at the heart of it. What's at the heart of advocacy? Personal choice, right? Do we know what personal choice is? Personal choice is the choice is the freedom to consider possibilities and decide what is best for oneself. I decide that it's best for me to eat cheeseburgers on occasion, not every day. That might not be best for me. So I'm going to choose personally to eat cheeseburgers only on occasion. That is personal choice. Seems ridiculous, but the more appropriate version of that is I want to get a job. I want to choose to get a job, so I want to choose to educate myself and choose how I want to go about that. That is my choice. That is a very powerful choice. I want to choose my path to getting to independent employment. That is a personal choice. You're all here for that very reason. Not here on the morning routine here, but you're like here in the building here, in the building there. Because you're choosing to go to a program to do certain things. That's personal choice. Okay, it's very, very important. Uh, you choose to advocate for yourself or others. Advocacy is about standing up for yourself, about standing up for others, a cause. There's a few, there's three different basic kinds of advocacy. Self-advocacy being the most important one because it takes care of yourself. If you can't advocate for yourself and take care of yourself, you're going to struggle to take care of other people or to advocate for other people. So make sure we're starting here and then advocating out, right? So we're going to talk about advocacy in general uh, this week, all month. Just It's going to become a regular routine for us, uh, really focusing on the personal choice. And personally, I want to make the choice right now to go back in the beard of the past with Zach.
Howdy, everybody. Hey, it is Tuesday, September 6th. I hope you guys enjoyed your weekend out there. Uh, it was a nice long weekend. I hope you guys uh, had a good time. I mean, I know it was warm, and I hope we stayed cool, but uh, we're kind of in the middle of this little heat wave here, and hopefully it'll be over soon. But uh, hey, it's Tuesday. Let's get ready for a great week in front of us. And let's start by going back, back to the bearded past with Zach. Zach. Today, let's do a little music history. On September 6th, the music history, 1937. This one caught my eye just because I found his CD the other day for 99 cents. Benny Goodman and his orchestra recorded Sugarfoot Stomp. A uh, little history about Benny Goodman, actually. Benny Goodman used to come down to Modesto, and he used to play with a friend out in the Del Rio Estates area um, back in the day. Uh, so Benny Goodman, yeah, he's been in the Modesto area. Um, those of you who have not listened to some Benny Goodman big band, man, go listen. It's great stuff, let me tell you. Also, too, Bob Dylan, 1961. I'm a big Bob Dylan. I think he's one of the greatest songwriters of all time. Uh... But he uh, debuted at the Gaslight Cafe in New York City. I wonder if he was gaslighting everybody. But also, too, on this day, 1963, Eric Clampton regard recorded his guitar solo on the Beatles' While My Guitar Gently Weeps, today in Beatles history. So, uh, yeah, when that song, While My Guitar Gently we Weeps, Eric Clampton is the uh, one who played the guitar solo on that album. Also, too, in 2010, uh, Jane's Addiction announced that it's going to part ways with Duff McKagan. Uh, he had only been working with the band for five months. And those of you who might not know, Duff McKagan played uh, 12 years with Guns N' Roses. That's where he got his fame. Uh, he must have been some, done something pretty bad if he bounced out of there in five months. And uh, hey, guys, uh, you know, I hope you enjoyed this stuff. You know, it's fun. If you guys are uh, sitting around, it's hot out there, so I'm sure we're spending a lot of time inside. You know, expand yourself. Look at some new stuff. Check out some music history. Later, guys. All right. Very good. Good, good, good. We're going to have some advocacy history coming up next week, which will be cool as well. But for now, let's find out... What does advocacy mean to you? Ray went around last week and asked some questions what, of a few folks. What does advocacy mean to you? It's different for everybody. And hey, you know what? Sometimes we don't even know what the heck advocacy really does mean. We hear it a lot. We hear people say, ah, personal choice and self-advocacy. We hear these things, but what does it really mean? What do we believe it to mean? What do we understand it to mean? So we're gonna start here, check it out see what uh, advocacy means to a few of you folks. Advocacy means speak up for yourself. If you don't speak up for yourself, you're not going to get ahead of it. Like help other people out. Advocacy means that you're working very hard, independent, then you have to do your own job, you know, adult, you can do like traveling and stuff like that. Advocacy means is to stand up for yourself, show yourself, and advocate for yourself. Okay, Ashnell, what do you think advocacy means to you, sir? Advocacy means just to stand up for yourself. Um, always be brave, no matter what you do. Well, it has something to do with disability rights and, and something to do with disability rights and have who can help you, like a person that can help you. Advocacy means to me adv to advocate for yourself and letting know, letting people know what you want and what you need in uh, it, in life, no matter if it's transportation. Social Security, anything. All right, very good. So you see there's some differences there. We've got some things to work on. So good start. All right, enough about advocacy for today. 
I'm going to personally choose to move the program along to the National Day. Good Monday morning, everybody. Here we are. No, it's not Monday. See how Louis screwy I already am? It is not Monday because we weren't here Monday and we didn't do a Monday video. So it's Tuesday. <gasps> yeah, just Tuesday. Tuesday after a holiday, a hot holiday. I hope everybody stayed cool. It was my grandson. Well, actually it's his birthday today. So shout out to my grandson who's the big three. And uh, we had his party yesterday and it was hot. I really didn't want to get in the swimming pool with a bunch of children, but I did because it was hot. So I hope you all had a great weekend and extra day off. But we are here on Tuesday and it is uh, September the 6th. And the national day is, it's another look unlimited day. I thought, what in the heck's that mean? I haven't done that one remarkably. But what it is, is kind of think of it as a second spring cleaning, you know, you're going into fall, all the crud that's accumulated over the summer. I started thinking about it, you know, I'm really famous for, we don't go into the dining room very often. So if I just set it on the table there, I can forget about it. Nobody will see it. Well, that doesn't work because then pretty soon the table gets cluttered and then I'm mad because I want to decorate the table and then I have to go through it. So I think I will take it up and do that you know, get rid of some of those things that they're only summer things, put them away. Or if you don't want them anymore, clear them out, donate them somewhere. It's kind of like a second spring cleaning, you know, get rid of all the stuff. I call it stuff or treasures. What's your stuff is somebody else's treasure, not junk, never junk. But think about it, you know, maybe you're not going to wear certain things anymore. Put them away, clean them out. Or if you got that t-shirt that you just really do like but it's got holes in it, I think it's time for it to go. Go through your drawers, do some fall cleaning, but it's a second look at cleaning. Second look at getting rid of stuff. That's what I got for a Tuesday. I hope you guys got a lot of stuff to go through. Or if you're really lucky, no stuff. And then this day is just a, another Tuesday. Have a great day everybody. All right, very good. That was a long National Day name, whatever. But uh, good stuff as always. And it is Tuesday, so we've got some cool stuff coming up. One o'clock, Facebook Live. We've got nutrition or positivity or whatever it's going to be because it's Tuesday, but yesterday was a holiday, so it's kind of like the Monday. It's the beginning of the week, so it's not Monday positivity. It's not Tuesday positive. It's just Tuesday. And we got some stuff to do on Facebook Live, one o'clock. Check it out. See what happens there. It's been pretty good. We've been mixing it up with different people doing it, so you don't know who's going to show up. So you want to show up to find out who shows up. Choose to show up. <laughs> Personal choice. I personally choose to show up and watch what's going to be on Facebook Live, one o'clock. All right. And that is going to be it for Tuesday. We got some music stuff. Uh, Rocker Bob was here. He's been super consistent. Man, the dude is really, you know, he's really just focused on that album. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Anyway, have a great rest of your Tuesday, everybody. Good morning routine. Take care. I didn't fly very well.